In the midst of economic uncertainty, one thing remains certain. Investors are constantly seeking ways to secure their cash while maintaining the flexibility to access it when needed. Aside from high-yield savings accounts, where do you safely park your money for the short term? Well, that's what we're getting into in today's video. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in this video, we're covering three investment options that prioritize safety and help you navigate market volatility while potentially earning higher returns. So the first one I want to cover, Brian, is money market accounts. Who is this right for? This is ideal for people who want higher rates compared to their traditional savings or their checking accounts, but they need quick access to the funds and they're comfortable knowing that their account is FDIC or NCUA insured. Okay. While they're great for liquidity, you could be penalized though for taking more transactions than allowed than the, and the exact amount will be based on the institution. Mm -hmm. Make sure you understand if there are fees or limits based on the transactions that you actually make. You've got to read these contracts. And if it were me, and if there were limitations on my withdrawals, I wouldn't be parking my money there. Quick question for you. Why not put your money in a high yield savings account and not have to worry about transaction limitations with money market funds? You yeah, you, you could. And here's the thing. If your money market has limitations, I would park my money in high yield savings accounts, which currently have rates a little over 5% today. Okay. And are money market accounts the same? I mean, it's pretty much the same interest rate, correct? Virtually uh, real close to the same, depending on the institution right now. Make sure you shop around. So, All right. Number two, no penalty certificates of deposits or CDs are another place to stash your cash. Let's go over that. Yeah. The key here, Michelle, is no penalty. Right. These are different from normal CDs, which lock you into a set time frame with serious penalties if you pull your money out before maturity. Sure. Current CD rates that we're seeing are in the 5 to 5.55% 5 5 .5 range right now for 12 months. This option is ideal for those who want a predictable return, security of FDIC insurance, and the flexibility mm -hmm. to withdraw their funds without penalties before the CD matures. Just make sure to ask if there's an early withdrawal penalty, and that is before you deposit your funds. All right. Let's move on to multi-year guaranteed annuities or MIGAs. Yeah. The one thing that we talk about a lot on this channel is that annuities aren't for everyone. So let's start with who MIGAs might be right for. Okay. MIGAs are a great investment choice for people that seek a fixed and guaranteed interest rate for the entire duration of the annuity typically range between two and 10 years. Yeah. MIGAs may offer higher interest rates compared to other accounts mentioned here. Like right now, I'm seeing 6% guaranteed for three years. And a big plus, your principal is protected. MIGAs okay. might be right for you if you're comfortable with a longer commitment period. You want a fixed rate and a guaranteed interest rate. And you're looking for a low risk option with potential for slightly higher returns than standard savings accounts today. Sorry, I jumped in there and interrupted you, but a quick question. You mentioned, you know, entire duration of the annuity. The one thing that I think people really need to understand is when you break that contract, it can get super expensive quick. Yeah, you got the early withdrawal penalties. And uh, if you surrender the contract early, there are pretty substantial penalties. Depending on the state you go in, Michelle, it could be up to 7 to 10% in penalties. Yeah. Here's the thing. Annuities are complex products. Yes, if you want to know more about MIGAs, the, everything you want to know about it, check out the video that's in the description below. Brian and I have a pretty in-depth video on that. And we always talk, you mentioned earlier, read the contract, know what you're getting into, and definitely know what the penalties are for breaking something like that. All right. So Brian, any parting words before we wrap this up? Really what it boils down to is choosing the right short-term investment isn't always about the rate of return. Mm. What you select should depend on your specific financial goals, your risk tolerance, and your time frame for needing access to your funds. All right. There you go. That's a wrap. If you like the content of this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And Brian, thank you so much for this. And as always, thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.